Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video earlier on today that the Windows 11 22H2 feature update was getting closer to its public release and that's because Microsoft had now moved version 22H2 into the release preview channel in the Windows Insider program for final testing and that's until its official release that we are expecting to see possibly in October of this year 2022. Now this is just a quick video which I thought uh, some would find um, interesting as there are now reports on Reddit that uh, for some users uh, in the Windows 10 release preview channel, um, which also gets cumulative updates uh, for testing before they roll out to the general public, uh, for some uh, Windows 10 users in the uh, release preview channel, they are also now being offered the same Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update um, on their system, even though their device does not meet the system requirements to run Windows 11. Now, this is just a screenshot posted by a user on Reddit um, uh, in the release preview channel for Windows 10. Um, they've been off offered the Windows 11 version 22H2 feature update um, on their Windows 10 device, which is version 21H2 OS build 19044.1741, and that's the latest stable version and build of the Windows 10 operating system. And they've been offered the update date on unsupported hardware because their processor is an Intel Core R5 7200U CPU and that is not a supported uh, CPU so um, they've been offered the Windows 11 upgrade um, on unsupported hardware in the release preview channel for Windows 10 um, even though their hardware does not support the minimum system requirements to run Windows 11 and that's quite interesting as there are numerous reports that are rolling in on Reddit now. And this is actually not the first time this has happened uh, in the preview versions of Windows 11. Um, because last year, before the uh, official rollout of Windows 11 uh, to the public on the 6th of October last year, 2021, uh, the original preview of Windows 11 also um, was rolling out to some users on unsupported hardware. So it looks like Microsoft has come full circle now. Um, and at this stage, uh, we don't know if this is going to continue, where they're going to um, keep offering um, um, the uh, update on unsupported hardware at this stage, or if it's just a glitch so-called in the matrix um, over at Microsoft. But with most, most uh, things to do with Microsoft, um, only time will tell and I will keep you posted accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.